Hey, this is Ryan from webeminence.com, and I want to offer a little bit of help to all those people out there who upgraded to WordPress 3.9 and freaked out a little bit when they noticed that they weren't able to add margins and borders to uh, their images in the same way that they were uh, in previous versions. So to show you exactly what the change was that occurred, I'm logged into this WordPress installation that is... Uh, before 3.9, as you can see, they're asking me to upgrade to 3.9.1. And you'll see there's some pictures in the page editor. And before 3.9, you were able to click on an image and then click on the little button to open the edit image box. And then you'll find a bunch of settings in there, like the alignment. This image is aligned left. And then if you were to click on advanced settings, you would see the size, CSS class, and then the styles box here where you could easily type in a border number here and you could give numbers for margins and they would automatically enter the appropriate style coding. So let's say for example I wanted a 20 vertical space and 30 horizontal space. I would just add that in there. Let's put a one pixel width border and click update and you'll see it change the margins and if we go into the code for that image you'll see here the class names are shown and then under style it adds all the styles automatically that we typed into those boxes so now I'm going to upgrade this WordPress to 3.9.1 and show you the changes that were made Okay, so I just upgraded this WordPress installation to 3.9.1, and you could tell um, the change by the black menu on the left-hand side. So now if I click on this image and press the Edit Image button, you can see everything's changed. Uh, some of the options are still the same. I can still align uh, left, center, right, or none. I can change the size, the link, and then under Advanced Options, they still have a CSS class, but you'll notice that the um, border and the margin inputs are gone. So that's what has a lot of people upset in the WordPress forums and elsewhere. And I'll admit I was a little bit frustrated at first too because I did use those boxes often to give the images uh, some quick styling, whether it was borders or margin. So it was a little annoying, but I think what WordPress is really trying to do is, is get people to uh, use a more proper form of coding. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If you go into the HTML code for that image, you'll see the style information is still there because it, even though I updated, it didn't delete that code. But the better way to include this style information would be to put it in a class. Uh, the same way that there's an align left class or a size medium class. Um, so that does require a little bit of CSS and uh, HTML knowledge, and that's what has a lot of people upset. And I understand why a lot of people are upset. It was very easy to just click on the edit image button and then add some margins and borders really quickly. But I want to show you a quick tip that I'm going to use to um, save some time and to... Uh, remedy the situation because I can't use the um, margin and border boxes anymore. Most people just have a few different formatting options that they want for pictures. For example, maybe if a picture is in the upper left hand corner, you just want to add some uh, margins to the right side here and then the bottom here, but you just want to keep these tight to the edge. And then if it was in the upper right hand corner, you might want a margin on the left, a margin on the bottom, and then keep it tight on the top and the right. And then maybe you have a few border options that you use, like a one pixel black border, or maybe a two pixel black border. Uh, so you can use CSS styling to create a few common classes, and then simply enter that class for that image. And by creating maybe 10 classes, you can probably cover most of the image styling options that you use on your website. So here's a simple text file I created with seven CSS classes that will cover most of the margin options that I use on my uh, website. So 
Typically, I would add 20 pixel margins to my pictures depending on whether they were in the upper left, upper right, or um, maybe they needed 20 pixel margin on the top or the sides. So just to give you an idea of how this works, for those of you who don't understand CSS, this is the name of a class after the period, and then inside the brackets is margin, and then the order of these numbers is top, right, bottom, and left. So that's why there's four different numbers, and you can include uh, PX for pixel after each one, or just put a zero if it's a zero. So for example, this first class is image up left, which means the image is in the upper left, which like I said before, means I want to put a margin on the right and the bottom. So that's why I have 0, 20, 20, 0. So I also have classes created for image upper right, image down right, image down left, image 20, which is just putting a 20 pixel margin around the entire image, and then image 20, 0, which is a 20 pixel margin on the top and bottom, and 0 on the right and left. So if there's only two numbers after margin, uh, the first number is the top and bottom, second number is the left and right. So then the last class, which is image 0, 20, means there's a margin of 0 on the top and bottom, and margin of 20 pixels on the left and right. So with just these seven classes I created really quickly, I can easily add these styles onto my website and then use them to style my images. So after you memorize all these classes, it can actually become faster than the old way of entering a border or a margin in the box. So let me first show you how to copy these styles into your WordPress site, and then I'll show you how to apply them to an image. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all this text, and you can find this text on the blog post that's linked with this video. Uh, obviously, you can create a lot more CSS styles, but you can copy these ones for starters just to give you some of the most common uh, margin settings and you can change the numbers and uh, the names however you want and now that you know how to do it you can create more uh, classes so once you're done you can copy all the text you're gonna go into WordPress and go to appearance and then editor and whenever you're editing in the editor you do want to be using a child theme um, that'll keep you from messing up anything in your original theme files so I've already created a child theme I'm not going to cover how to do that in this video. Once you're in the editor and editing your child theme, make sure you're editing your style sheet, style.css, and if you're not, you can click on style sheet in the bottom right, and then you're just gonna paste in the text that you copied, and then click update file. And now I can use these classes to style my images, and the way I'm gonna do that is by simply using the class name without the period at the beginning. So this one is image up left. If I go back to edit that same page we were on, I went ahead and removed all the styling that was entered on that first image. So you can see it's just a plain image with no styling information. That's why the text is just right next to it. I'm gonna click on the image and click the edit button. And now that I have these styles added, I can simply add them into the image CSS class box. So I'm going to make this image align to the left, and then for the margins, I'm just going to put image up left. So that's going to take the styling information from the class I created that was period image up left, but I'm going to actually leave the period off here because it doesn't require it, and then click update. Now you see the image is align to the left and then it has the appropriate borders. So I could click on that again and say align right and then change it to image up right. So I'm going to go ahead and update that page so that we can view it in the browser. And you'll see that it added the appropriate margins of 20 pixels to the left side and the bottom and then the top and the right have zero pixels. So that's using the styles from the class image up right. So let's do one other example. Let's say I wanted to use the image 20 class which is going to add a margin 
of 20 pixels to the top and a margin bottom of 20 pixels. You'll notice I changed the format of this a little bit so that it works in uh, more cases. And I'll change this last class to be margin right 20 pixels and margin left 20 pixels. And the reason I'm doing that is so that it works with the center alignment class. And let's go back to the edit page and click on that image. And we're going to give it alignment of center and then say image 20 zero, which should give it margins of 20 pixels on the top and bottom. I'm going to click update. Go back to the live site and refresh and you'll see it's aligned in the center and there's 20 pixel margin on the top and on the bottom. So you can see from that that CSS is really not that hard to use and by just creating a few simple classes on your style sheet you're going to easily be able to style your images uh, probably even faster than you were able to in the past. And you can do some basic reading on CSS margins and borders so that you can create more classes that you can use with your images. For example if you wanted to add a border class you could maybe call it image border and it would look something like this with border colon solid means it's a solid line one pixel thick and black. So that would be your basic border style and you can add more if you use different borders often on your site. So I hope that helps those of you who are upset about the recent changes to WordPress 3.9. Um, maybe now you can get back to building your sites and uh, you won't have to complain in the forums anymore. I know it was annoying. I kind of was frustrated myself, but um, kind of went to work to figure out what I was going to do to make it easier on myself so I can get back to work. I uh, hope you can do the same now. If you have any questions or uh, maybe some comments about more improvements to uh, this simple method that I shared here, make sure to comment on the video or on my blog post. You can subscribe to my channel on YouTube and I'll send some more helpful videos your way. I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you on the next one.